everyone, Miss Tui here. In this skills check, you will use a timer color code and a line switch color code to send Ozobot on a scavenger hunt to collect different items. Are you ready to have some fun? For today's lesson, you'll need an Ozobot, fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, a pencil, and your introduction to color codes lesson nine skills check activity sheet. In today's lesson, you will draw color codes to program your bot to run following a 30 second timer. Draw color codes to program your bot to switch lines to move onto a set path and collect data to track the activity completed by your bot in 30 seconds. Let's get started. Look at the activity sheet. There are four boxes around the outside of the path Ozobot will follow labeled with a color, red, green, or blue. Look around the room you're in to find two to three items that are red, green, or blue for Ozobot to collect on its scavenger hunt. As I look around the room I am in, I see a backpack that has red on it and a red mug. So I will draw those two items in the box labeled red. I also see a green crayon, a notebook with green on the cover, and a green picture frame. I will draw these items in the box labeled green. I see a blue marker and I have some blue on my shirt so I can draw pictures of these items in the box labeled blue. What items do you see in the room that have red, green, or blue on them? Can you draw two to three items in each box labeled with the colors red, green, and blue? Now that Ozobot knows what it will collect on its scavenger hunt, you need to program it to move. Ozobot will have 30 seconds to collect as many items as it can before the timer is up and the bot turns off. Do you think Ozobot should move slow or fast? I agree. Ozobot should move fast. The fast color code is the first missing color code on the line after start. This color code will program Ozobot's speed. Find the fast color code in the key. I will put the color sequence blue, black, blue in the first three empty boxes after start. Now it's your turn to program the speed. Can you use your color code markers to color the sequence blue, black, blue in the first three boxes after start? Since Ozobot loves a challenge, it will only have 30 seconds to complete the scavenger hunt. After Ozobot begins to move fast, the 30 second timer should start. The second missing color code with four colors is the timer on. Find the timer on color code in the color codes key. I will put the color sequence red, black, blue, green in the next four empty boxes after start. Now it's your turn to program the timer. Can you use your color code markers to color the sequence red, black, blue, green in the next four boxes after start? Uh-oh, the start line does not connect to the path Ozobot needs to move along to collect the items. Looks like you will need to program Ozobot to turn at the end of the start line and continue to move it until it senses the path for the scavenger hunt. Do you remember what color codes program Ozobot to move off of one line and onto another? That's right, you can use a line switch color code. Which direction will Ozobot need to turn to get to the scavenger hunt path? Ozobot will need to turn right. Find the line switch right color code in the key. I will put the color sequence red, green, red in the last three empty boxes after start. Now it's your turn to program your bot to turn right and keep moving without following a line. Can you use your color code markers to color the sequence red, green, red in the last three boxes after start? Uh 
Ozobot will use its LED light to show you the color of the items it collects on the scavenger hunt. Look at the path Ozobot will follow to move to the different items. Four lines are missing to complete the path. You will color the lines red, green, or blue to match the color of the items Ozobot collects. Here is a box labeled red with the red items inside of it. I will trace the line below it, red, to match. Here is the box labeled green with green items inside of it. I will trace the line above it, green, to match. Here is a box labeled blue with the blue items inside of it. I will trace the line above it, blue. Finally, here is another box labeled green with green items inside of it. I will trace the line next to it green. Now it's your turn to complete your path with color so Ozobot can show you when it collects an item. Can you use your color code markers to color the lines red, green, or blue to match the boxes? Ozobot is ready to go on the scavenger hunt. Are you? You will put your bot on start and watch as it follows the color codes to change speed, start the 30 second timer, and move to the path. When Ozobot gets to the scavenger hunt path, it will randomly choose to turn left and move towards the red items first, or it will choose to turn right and move towards the green items first. After Ozobot gets on the scavenger hunt path, you will watch to see when the LED light changes color and use tally marks to keep track of the number of items collected. Let's watch my bot in action as I place it on start. When the light turns red, Ozobot has collected a red item. I will record this data by making a tally mark in the rectangle labeled red under items collected at the bottom of the sheet. When the light turns green, Ozobot has collected a green item. I will record this data by making a tally mark in the rectangle labeled green under items collected. When the light turns blue, Ozobot has collected a blue item. I will record this data by making a tally mark in the rectangle labeled blue under items collected. I wonder how many items Ozobot will collect in 30 seconds. Now it's your turn to play with your bot. Can you put your bot on start? Then watch your bot as it moves fast for 30 seconds to complete the scavenger hunt. Use tally marks to count the different colored items your bot collects. Did you complete the skills check? Does your activity sheet have the three missing color codes filled in after start? Did you run your bot from start? Does your work show how Ozobot moves to collect different items in 30 seconds? Does your work show how the speed, timer on, and line switch color codes can be used together? If you're looking for more to do, you can write sentences to tell about the items that Ozobot collected, write and solve word problems using the items Ozobot collected, or complete another scavenger hunt programming Ozobot to move at a different speed. Come back again soon for our next lesson.